Hello, I'm going to spend a few minutes talking about how hypnosis and NLP can be used to control and even eliminate pain. If you are suffering from chronic pain or any pain, then the most important thing that you do is go and see the doctor. I mean, if someone's got a bad headache and I get rid of the pain, that's very nice as long as they haven't got a brain tumor. So if you're, you probably haven't got a brain tumor if you've got a headache, but just go and check. Go and check with a doctor if you're in pain. Usually, therefore invariably, because I won't see them until they've seen the doctor, the person I get to see who's suffering from chronic pain has seen the doctor and another doctor and the neurologist and the other specialist and has had the x-rays and often the exploratory operations and nothing seems to make any difference. Well, sometimes the brain gets stuck. Pain, there's a good reason for pain, usually. It's a warning to the brain to go, look, you know, be careful. Don't move this muscle because you'll hurt it more or you just burn yourself on the oven. You know, the, the reason you suffer pain is so that you don't do it again, basically. <laughs> you go, Ow, let's avoid the pain. So there are a whole range of hypnotic techniques and NLP techniques that can be used to eliminate unnecessary pain or the pain that's just got stuck in the kind of stuck record kind of way. A lot of disassociation techniques work very well. The most extreme case of chronic pain I ever saw was the first person I ever saw with chronic pain, a guy called, um, I'll call him John, um, who 30 years um, before had played golf um, one day and had put his back out a bit. It hurt a bit um, and it got worse. And he went to the doctor and the doctor said, well, here's some pain control things and some anti-inflammatory drugs and it got worse. And he went to the specialist and, you know, to cut a long story short, I saw him 30 years later, he was in his 60s. Um, he'd had nine operations, including severing nerves in his back. Nothing had worked. He'd had a, a box semi-implanted into the side of his body, which pumped a continuous stream of a cocktail of drugs directly into the base of his spine. And he was still in absolute agony 24 hours a day. And yet one of the best senses of humor I've ever seen, he was always joking, but his face was creased up with pain and had been for years. I did a range of big, powerful disassociation hypnosis exercises with him where I got him to distance himself and distance himself more and more from him, so floating up and away, various different things. I used hip every hypnotic technique I could think of. And in the first session, in an hour, we reduced the pain from 100 out of 100 to 50 out of 100, which doesn't sound much to most people, but to him it was a big deal because he'd never been free of the pain, even when they in introduced morphine into his special cocktail. That had reduced it for a few days, but it had just come back. So now he's going there, everybody burst into tears. I nearly cried because his wife was crying. I said, well, look, I thought, well, we can do this. Obviously, if we can reduce the pain from 100 to 50 an hour, then it's possible to reduce the pain. And so he came and he went away. He was very excited and he ran me up the next day and he said, it's 100 again. I thought, oh, damn. Next week he came in and we did the same kind of thing more powerfully and we, we got rid of the pain completely. And once again, it was a big tearful thing. So here's this guy for the first time in 30 years sitting there pain-free and surprised and confused. And the next day he ran me back and said, it's 100 again. I thought, what am I going to have to do? And then I realized what I had to do and I, I kicked myself for not thinking about it before. Because what he was doing is what you may do if you suffer from chronic pain. He was expecting it. He woke up the next morning going, I wonder if the pain's going to come back. I wonder if my back's going to hurt today or not. And his unconscious mind went, okay, and made the connection. So he did. So then I started working with him to aim him consciously at comfort rather than aim him away from pain. So came in the following week, saw him, got rid of the pain again during the session. And I said, I want you to do a special thing. Because I wasn't sure I could completely stop him from worrying about the pain. I said, when? you experience the pain or worry about it. I want you to do something else. I want you to go, where is the most comfortable place in my body? And just make it up. I said, maybe it's just a patch of skin on your leg. Just pretend, I said, maybe it's somewhere in your mind. It doesn't matter. Pretend there's a feeling of comfort spreading from that place through the rest of your body. And I ran that kind of technique. I wanted him to focus on comfort rather than not pain. And lo and behold, he rang, he rang up the next day and said, it's back, but it's only 75. I said, good, we're making progress. And it took me f half a dozen, eight weeks altogether to sort this out for him completely. And by then his, his mind was trained to look for comfort. He needed more work, physiological work, because his body was a bit twisted up. But I was surprised that it was so effective. I hoped it would be, but I didn't know. It just goes to show how amazing people are, because I didn't perform any magic, he did. I just helped point him in the right direction. So if you are suffering from chronic pain, 
and you've seen your doctor and the specialist and they've said well we've done what we can it may well be possible to help alleviate and diminish and even eliminate that pain using this kind of powerful combination of NLP and hypnosis so do get in touch with us